If you're looking to improve your sleep quality with red light therapy, then this is going to be the video for you. Obviously, a red light therapy device is as simple as switching it on and standing in front of it, but in this video, you're gonna learn a specific routine and another hack that you can use in order to optimize your sleep quality. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to the Mychondria YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, you're gonna find content all around light, circadian rhythms, and how you can optimize these things in order to live your best life. If you haven't already done so, then I highly suggest that you click both the subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Now for today's video, we're talking about sleep and how you can use a red light therapy device in order to improve your sleep quality. Now in a previous video we did cover a study and I'll leave a link to that above here if you want to check that out but basically there you're going to see the dramatic increases in melatonin which is your sleep hormone, melatonin levels from just 14 days of red light therapy usage as well as better sleep quality and faster times to falling asleep. So that's basically you know as simple as switching on the device but in today's video I actually want to give you a bit of a routine and an extra hack that you can throw into the mix to really make sure that you are dramatically increasing your sleep quality. So, as I already mentioned, using a red light therapy device is as simple as switching it on. Now in the study that we referenced in that other video, they made sure that they were doing their red light therapy sessions in the evening. Now this makes sense because if you look at how red light therapy works on a cellular level, it upregulates the energy production within your cells, and one of the byproducts of this is actually an increase in melatonin production. So off the bat, it makes sense that if you want to be improving your sleep quality, you want to make sure that you're doing your sessions in the evening. Now I use my red light therapy device in combination with another hack in order to improve sleep quality. And I want to share that with you today because I find when you combine these two modalities, you get really, really good sleep. So what basically happens is your circadian rhythm has various different things that happen within your body that tell your body whether it is daytime or nighttime. And apart from light, one of the other most powerful indicators of day and nighttime to your body is your core body temperature. So what happens is during the day, as you're more active and you're moving around, your core body temperature should increase. And then in the evening time, what happens is as your core temperature decreases, that is a very strong signal for sleep. Now a really cool way to hack this is to take a warm shower 90 minutes to two hours before going to bed. Sounds a bit counterintuitive, why would you take a warm shower if you're trying to decrease your core body temperature? But the key here lies in that time period of 90 minutes to two hours before bed, because basically what happens is when you're taking a warm shower, you're bringing out the blood from your core to the outer parts of your body, like your hands and the periphery outer tissues. And what happens then is the outside air is then able to cool down this blood and in that time period as it's cooling down it'll return back to your core and that is a very strong indicator for your body that it is time to rest and go to sleep. So a very very cool way that you can combine these two together is in that time period so 90 minutes to two hours before you, you plan on going to bed have your warm shower and then after that, because you want to allow as much of the outside air to be in contact with your body, that's a really great time to do your red light therapy session. So now, you know, you've come out of your warm shower, you're standing in your towel, you get in front of your red light therapy device and you do 10, 15 minute session there and you try and, you know, basically stay in the state where you're allowing the outside air to cool your body temperature. Now when you combine these two together, I promise you get extremely profound effects and you will even notice in that, in that time period before bed, that you'll start to feel relaxed and start to unwind because you've now combined the red light therapy with the increased melatonin production and you're helping to decrease your core body temperature at the same time. And just to give you guys a bit of a reference, so in the research where they've used red light therapy devices to improve sleep quality, they've used quite a high dose. They've used 30 joules per centimeter squared. And what this basically means is you need to have quite a high powered device in order to get that dose in a reasonable time. So to give you an example, using one of the mitochondria devices, you could get that dose in as little as six to eight minutes. If you were using a cheaper underpowered device, you're probably going to be looking at 20, 30 minutes in front of that device, or it might actually not be powerful enough to get that dose in a time that your cells are actually going to respond to it. So if you wanna make sure that you tap into these benefits, then I highly suggest you check out the mitochondria devices. They're available at mitochondria.com. 
If you have any questions from today's video, then please drop them in the comment section below. We'd love to talk about this topic. Sleep and light is such a great topic and can have such a profound effect on your life. So if there's anything you want cleared up, drop it in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the content in today's video, then please be sure to smash the thumbs up button. That just lets us know that you enjoy content like this and fuels our fire to make more videos like this for you. Again, if you have any questions, drop them below. But otherwise, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.